Here we are on the IoT Roadshow, and I'm in Austin, Texas, and I ran into an old friend, Gene Friends, at Octavia. Hello, Gene. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Now, uh, most people know you as a former TIer. Um, what are you doing today? So, I'm really continuing what I did at TI, and that is looking for new opportunities uh, to use technology to create systems. And so, I'll just point, point this up, you can look at it. Uh, this is our first product. It was uh, basically taking the concept of the Beagle Bone Black and putting it into a production vantage point so that uh, anybody from a uh, maker to a high volume customer can use that as a production device followed up having done the development on the, the the Beagle Bone Black. Now, I suppose you're going to try to convince me that this is a complete Beagle Bone Black on, on a package. That's no, it's just the hard parts. <laughs> Very good. If you if you think about uh, once I go to this design, getting the the memory and the arm to work together is very very difficult. Getting the power management to properly work with everything is very difficult. Well, we've done that, so that's done. Mm -hmm. And so uh, and, and we put it in a fairly wide uh, pitch ball grid array because that allows anybody with a toaster oven to be able to solder this down and make use of it. So would you advocate me doing my design on an actual Beagle Bone? Yes. That's yes, that's the easy way to do it. It's available, good community, a uh, lot of uh, ways to use it. And then when you get to production, the hard part's pretty well done. And, uh, and you can move from a six layer board to maybe a two layer, a three or four layer board based on the fact that we've done all the hard stuff here. Are these SIPs available today? They're available. Go to DigiKey and buy them. Sounds great. The IoT Roadshow in Austin, Texas. Rich Ness with Gene Friends, Octavio. Octavo. Octavo, yes.